Hey, we have here today an interesting integral. We've got the integral of five to the ln x dx. And I know this is actually a pretty easy integral after you've seen it a couple of times, but the first time it can be a little bit tricky. So I wanted to go over it. I think the issue we have here is we really would like our base to be x, or we'd like to transform this somehow with algebra. And what we can do is we can use this property that we can say, we can write a for some constant value. We can write this as e to the ln a. And so in this case for five, we can actually rewrite five as e to the ln 5. The reason this works that way is just log properties. If we say log of some base of a equals n, let's say, well, the definition of this, this tells us that a equals b to the n. But when you have the log on e or some base, like the same value as our b here. So if you have an expression like b to the log base b of a, we just said that this log base b of a is n. So using this first equation, we can actually substitute n for the exponent and we can have b to the n. But we're saying by this, we're saying that this must be true, that b of n equals a, so this whole thing is a. So essentially what happens when you have the same base on the log on the exponent, this basically cancels and you just end up with your a here. So that's what we've done here with five, and you also can do this with x, right? You can write x as e to the ln of x. So back to this, using this as our definition for five, if I have e to the ln five, and we have this raised to the ln x, well then by exponent properties, we can actually swap these or multiply them in, we could write it as e to the ln x times ln 5. We're swapping and we could write it as e to the ln x to the ln 5 power. But we said right here that e to the ln x is the same thing as x, so I can actually write this as x to the ln 5. So now let's take this value and put it back into our integral. So we're actually integrating x to the ln 5 dx. But now we have our base x that we wanted. ln 5 is just a constant number, so that's going to allow us to use the power rule here. Even though it doesn't look like it, this is just power rule. So integrating this, we're just going to have x ln 5 plus 1 over ln 5 plus 1. Now because we're adding here in the exponent, we can actually pull an x out. So we can write this as x times x ln 5 over this. But x ln 5 is this right here. And we found this is the same thing as our 5 ln x. We can write this as x times 5 ln x over ln 5 plus 1 plus c, and that's it. So really this is just a problem all about log properties and exponent properties, but it was still a pretty good one. So I'm gonna stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.